Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.4 blood. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 9.4 you need to name and state the functions of the components of blood and for extended identify and state the functions of lymphocytes and phagocytes and describe the process of blood clotting. So blood is a specialised body fluid with four main components, red blood cells, Cells, white blood cells, platelets and plasma. By spinning a blood sample in a centrifuge, the heavier components sink to the bottom, allowing us to see the relative proportions of each. Red blood cells are tiny disc-shaped cells that transport oxygen throughout the body. They have no nuclei or organelles, and their cytoplasm contains a red pigment called haemoglobin. In the lungs, where oxygen concentration is high, haemoglobin combines with oxygen, forming oxyhemoglobin. In places where oxygen concentration is low, the working muscles for example, oxygen dissociates from haemoglobin and diffuses into the cells down a concentration gradient. Red blood cells are produced alongside white blood cells and platelets in the bone marrow. White blood cells help to protect the body against disease-causing pathogens like bacteria and viruses. Some white blood cells are involved with phagocytosis, whereby foreign substances are engulfed and destroyed, while others produce antibodies, which we'll return to in Chapter 10. White blood cells have a large nucleus that can be clearly seen under the microscope and are typically around twice the size of red blood cells. Platelets are small colourless cell fragments that cause the blood to clot whenever a blood cell is damaged. If it weren't for the platelets there would be nothing to stop a cut or graze from bleeding and the wound would stay open making it easier for pathogens to enter the bloodstream. The liquid component of the blood is called plasma. It's made predominantly of water and makes up around 55% of total blood volume. Because it flows easily the main function of the plasma is to transport mineral ions, carbon dioxide, nutrients, hormones, antibodies, urea and the other components of blood to where they're needed. For extended, you need to know a little bit more about white blood cells and platelets. The two most numerous types of white blood cells are phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes have an irregular kidney-shaped nucleus and a cytoplasm that extends outwards when ingesting foreign particles. They engulf, and sometimes digest, bacteria, cell debris and other harmful substances by phagocytosis. Lymphocytes are much smaller white cells with a large spherical nucleus. One of the main functions of lymphocytes is to produce antibodies, which bind to pathogens and destroy them or mark them for destruction by phagocytes. Whenever a blood vessel is damaged, platelets clump together to block the smaller capillaries and release a substance that acts on a soluble protein in the plasma called fibrinogen. By the action of enzymes, fibrinogen is converted into the insoluble molecule fibrin, which forms a branching network across the wound. Red blood cells are trapped in the network, forming a clot that stops further blood loss and prevents pathogens from entering the bloodstream. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 9.4, blood. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time for topic 10.1, diseases and immunity.